like me, man. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. Be feeling like one of the ball playing, you know, bird of magic or something. So here are my new lowering springs for my Charger Hellcat. These lowering springs are from H&R, really, really good brand, and we are going to be installing it today on the Hellcat. So without wasting any more time, let's turn the Charger on and get going. I woke up the birds and the neighbors with that one. But check out that fitment on the GT500, look at that no wheel gap whatsoever so while i was backing up i just noticed the alcantara on here looks so beautiful look at that i mean i knew it was here but it just looks so good and all roads lead to a gas station of course unless you got a tesla and now we're feeding the beast comment down below how much you think it's going to cost to fill this thing up nothing like a full tank of gas i just remembered i forgot something so we gotta go home and grab it so here's what i forgot i'm not even sure what's in this box all i know that it's from bmr and it's a suspension modification i had bought it for my old red eye never had the chance to install it and well we're gonna try to install it on this one all right hear this thing scream That felt really good. So last time I checked the miles per gallon on this car, it was about like 13 to 14. You guys don't want to see what it's averaging right now. It is embarrassing. We're literally averaging 8.8 .8 miles per gallon. That's honestly just as bad as the TRX. None of my cars average over 10 miles per gallon. And the only person I can blame is myself. I don't stop doing pulls. I think I have a problem and I need to diagnose myself. So we just made it to TJ's shop and this is the last time you guys will see this Hellcat sitting like this. I'm actually curious to see what we got in this box. So let's open it up for you guys. All right. Literally bought it about, I don't know, seven months ago. Alright, so we got this, okay, I think I know what this is, I'm not even sure, but it's from BMR, really good company, yeah, I don't know, there's this, and there's this, I think this is like, I don't even know, I don't even know, I'm gonna ask TJ what this is, alright, now it's time to get the charger in there, to throw on the springs, also, if you want to get your exhaust done, install an intake, I don't know, whatever you want to do, put in lowering springs, all that stuff, make sure to hit up TJ's Custom Works. I'll leave his Instagram right up here. I don't think we're going to install that, so we don't have to worry about that. And then here are the springs. Let me show you guys. Good quality springs. You got two for the front and then these two are for the rear. So this is the last time you guys will see this car with this current height, like I said. One and a half, we're gonna lower from the front, and then for the rear, we're gonna lower it two inches, which will pretty much take care of that entire wheel gap. So we got the car up in the air. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be replacing. These are the factory springs. You got one here, one here, and then obviously one on each side over there. We're gonna be replacing them with these bad boys. So I'm thinking, no, this one goes on the front, like I said. Uh, the skinny one goes on the back. So the black one's gotta go out and we replace them with the blue. Also, what do you guys think of me painting these wheels? So right now, they're granite. I'm thinking about doing them satin black to match with the badges. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below. So first step, we gotta take off the wheels so we can access the springs a lot easier. And then TJ over here is gonna explain what we're doing next. So talk to us, TJ. Just gotta disconnect the connector for the adaptive suspension and then undo the bottom strut nut, undo the top, and then pull the strut out. Oh, oh, and there it is, just like that. I also just noticed that my JLT intake is falling off. Look at that. This thing is supposed to be all the way up here and it's literally coming off. I mean, like I could literally take it out literally. 
Just like that, it's off. Like, what? <laughs> we gotta fix that. So next thing, we're gonna go to the spring compressor so it could compress the spring so we could take it off. And then after you take them off, you put the new springs we're gonna be using, put that there and then this there, and then it compresses it all. So all this tool does is just hold it for you, right? Yeah, because the spring's under a lot of pressure, so it just, it just compresses it so you can release it. Oh, so you're the one that's actually bolting it on, yeah. but this machine is compressing everything. It's just compressing the spring so that you can disassemble it and then it. So now I'm gonna fix this right here. All you're gonna do is loosen it right over here, and then you'll just put that in here, and just like that, it's in there, and then. We bring that here and then use a screwdriver to tighten that up. So we got everything in there and now TJ is just gonna throw the wheel on there and we will be all set for the front. This side is all done as well. So now we're gonna work on the back and how we get these springs down is pretty simple. So we take this bolt off, this drops, and then the springs come down. But we do have to drop the exhaust before we take this off. And now the spring can come off. Bam. Just like that. And I'm gonna remind you guys one more time to go and follow TJ. I'll leave his Instagram right up here. She is all done. Are you guys ready to see this thing all lowered? Well, there it is, guys. This thing is all the way slammed. Look at that. What wheel gap. There is no more wheel gap. Look at that. Like, no more wheel gap. And now back here, no more wheel gap. It's a little bit, it's barely, but he said it will settle and it will go a little lower. It's not as lowered because he just freshly did it, but it looks so good, man. Tell me what you guys think of that in the comments below. So now we're gonna do a quick pull because everyone says once you lower your car, you lose traction. So we're gonna put that to the test. Well, we didn't spin on that one. Let's slow down to like 40 and see if it makes a difference. 40 in second. Okay, so it definitely spun a little more on the 40, but I think it always did spin off of 40. I don't know, I can't tell the difference, but like I said, it looks so much better when it's lowered. I don't care if I lose a little bit of traction. So we made a quick stop at MC Whips and look at this badass track hog right here. I wonder who the owner is. And then look, we got a TRX right here in tan. That's a beautiful color right there with those wheels. And also make sure to go check out Motor City Whips. That's who pretty much works on my cars when it comes to painting things, detailing, tint, wrap. Make sure to go check them out. I'll leave their Instagram right up here. And we also got a white C8 here with red guts. Look at that. And then Gentian is about to take out my god charger for a ride. I don't even know where he's going, but he's going somewhere. Let me show you guys the interior on here. Look at this. Competition seats. You got carbon fiber right here. Red interior. Red stitching everywhere. You got a red little stripe right there. Beautiful car. It's also a convertible. And how you know is when you can't see the engine, it means it's a convertible. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oof. We got an M8 competition. Look at this thing. Beautiful. And he's using the water hose to water it down. Yeah. Yeah, water yeah. that boy. And then you got a TA right here. Cinnamon, what? What is it called? Cinnamon stick. Is it actually called cinnamon stick? No, it's not. It cinnamon stick? That's cool. He just got it tinted, and what else did he do to it? Ceramic coating on the paint and the wheels. Ceramic coating. Make sure to go follow Motor City Tint if you want your car tinted. And then you have a Mach 1 right here. Love this color. Love the stripes right here. It's pretty cool. And then these wheels are literally so beautiful. Look how similar these wheels are to the M8 Competition. They're literally so similar. <laughs> And then you got satin mirror. Well, not really. It's like, yeah, it is satin. And then you got the spoiler right here. It's like a GT500 spoiler. I like these. I like these. I would definitely get this 
instead of a regular 5.0. So Martin just told me that this is $20,000 more expensive than a regular 5.0. So I take my statement back, I would definitely not get it over a 5.0 because why would you pay that much for this? This was literally $65,000. So they just installed the spoiler on it. So if you guys have a C8 and you want a spoiler, a diffuser, side skirts, they do all of that here. I love these C8s, man. They're just not worth the money, man. These things are going for like a hundred plus for 460 horsepower. I just don't see the value in that. Ooh! Genti, I got a new car. <laughs> By the way, guys, that is not Gentian's car, even no. though he's going to get in it. No. He was just about to go get in it. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. But just look at the spoiler on here. What do you guys think, man? Talk to me in the comments below. I usually don't go for white cars, but man, does this car look good in white. And I still can't get over how beautiful this thing looks lowered. Wow. It finally started to settle, and it looks a lot better. And now... It's time for us to bounce. So let's get in here and leave. All right. I just love hearing that. I just love hearing that. I've had such a long day. I've been out filming for literally seven hours today. It might not seem like that on video, but I've been out all day and I haven't really ate anything. So I might have to go home, eat something, edit, and work all night to make these videos for you guys. Well, not make them edit them for you i already made them i gotta edit them but anyways guys if you guys enjoyed today's video leave a like leave a comment subscribe and please turn your notifications bell on try to get this video to a thousand likes if this video gets a thousand likes i'm gonna post a racing video as my next video peace out and have a beautiful day